Here, I'll show you how to allow a user to bypass data validation rules or restrictions to input a value that is outside the allowed limits. Specifically, I'll show you how to do it with showing them a notification. So you say, hey, you're only allowed to input 10 here, but if you must, you can go ahead and input something greater than 10. So it allows you to still keep the restrictions, but make it a warning instead of an actual requirement. So first things first, let's go ahead and apply data validation here. Select the cell, go to the data tab, and click this little button right here, or the keyboard shortcut Alt-D-L. Now go to the settings tab under allow, let's say whole number, data less than or equal to 10, hit OK. Now, here you can see, of course, if you apply it after a value is already in the cell, it's not going to enforce the requirements. If I put a value under, no problem. I try to go back to 12. Now we get an error. You cannot do this. I can hit retry and try and input it again or cancel and it reverts back to the last value that was within the data validation limits. Now before I show you the way that informs the user that they're going to exceed a limit, there is one little thing I'll show you real quick. Data validation is not complete. It doesn't completely secure your worksheet. Okay, so let's say I put 12 over here, copy it, paste it. Now I have exceeded the data validation limit. But the point of this tutorial is to inform the user that they are going over the limit. So what we do, go back to data validation for this cell, and you'll notice that the validation criteria has been removed. Kind of an interesting thing when we did the copy paste, that is when it died. So let's say must equal six. If I click the cell here, Alt DL, I see the data validation rule. Go over here, copy this cell, paste the cell here, Alt DL, data validation rule is gone. Now that was just a quick little thing I wanted to throw in there because if you copy a value over a data validation cell, it will remove the rule. But now let's get back to telling the user they're going to exceed the limit. So we must put back the Data validation rule, maximum of 10. Okay, now go to error alert. It's really awesome. This is the default way to do it, style stop. And it's more than just a little icon, but we have warning. So you see the icon changes, but also the buttons in the window will change. And information. Now you can leave it as the default text, the default text that applies for these different styles, or you can input your own title or error message. So let's say we want to go to warning. Warning max 10. This value should not exceed 10. However, in rare cases, this value may be than 10. So just a little information to tell the user what's going on. Hit OK. Now, normal value, no problem. 12. Warning max 10. This value should not exceed 10. However, in rare cases, this value may be greater than 10. Continue, yes or no. So if I hit yes, now I have exceeded the data validation rule. The rule is still in there. So if I hit Alt-D-L, you can see on the Settings tab, we still have our data validation. It's just that we now allow the user to exceed it with a warning. So let's try it again. This time we hit No, and it reverts back to letting us edit it. Again, Cancel, reverts back to the last value that was in the cell. And the other type of error alert is just the information window. Hit OK. The value should not exceed 10. However, it can in some instances. Okie dokie. And you can input whatever value you want there. Try it again. Hit Cancel. Reverts back to the last value. So all that we did was we went to the Error Alert tab and changed the style from Stop to Warning or Information. It's a pretty cool little feature. If you wanted to go back to default, just select stop, all is good, and you're not going to be able to exceed the limits by inputting a value into the cell. You get retry or cancel. 
And that's how you can allow the user to exceed data validation limits, but at the same time inform them, let them know what's going on and that they will be exceeding a limit.